Hello, my name is Clara Peters, and I'm going to be giving my nonprofit organization speech over the Garth House. The Garth House prevents children to be neglected and abused. It helps get justice for children that have been abused and neglected, and will also help heal the children that have been abused and neglected. The reason why I have chose this nonprofit organization to have my speech about is because as a nurse I am required by law if I suspect any abuse or neglect that I have to report that to local law enforcement. The Garth House is a nonprofit organization that helps get justice for these children and helps heal these children that have been abused and neglected. The first step is they partner with local law enforcement, district attorneys, and CPS, Child Protective Services, and help get the initial interview. They do this by forming a bond with these children. They allow them to pick a couple different toys for the interview rooms. They have kid-friendly interview rooms, so it's not a scary place for a lot of these kids. They film these interviews so that the children do not have to relive their story over and over again. They are able to give the different departments, such as local law enforcement, district attorneys, CPS, they are able to give them a copy of their stories via DVD so that they don't have to relive it. And that's part one of the healing process. Due to COVID-19, they have bi-weekly appointments with a Garth House representative, a local law enforcement, a district attorney, and the children's CPS officer. They do this via Zoom meetings to help make sure that the children get justice and everybody is on the same page. And they do this as quickly as they can so that the children can really start having a healing process after the person is prosecuted. They also help with therapy sessions. They have traditional therapy, which is a one-on-one -on -one with an adult and the child and help talk through their issues, their problems, and try to get them stable that way. They also have a peer therapy session, which is a group of kids around the same age or same experiences so that the children realize that there's more than just them that have gone through this and they're not an outcast, they're not by themselves, they make it to where they have, can make friends, they have different activities that these children can do together such as um, sporting events, they can do Little League football, they have sports days, a basketball day. They have just different events for these children. They also have art therapy, which they have the children paint or sculpt. And sometimes this is the best way for the children to truly express themselves. They have music therapy or worship sessions. And they also have just pet therapy where they have the children and they bring pets in. It can be bunnies, it can be puppies, it can be cats, and they are able to just love on them and realize that love can still exist. Now, they also have prevention. So once the children are removed from their primary residence and they're placed either temporarily or permanently in a different location, they still have that Garth House representative that can keep in contact with them. And they have the new parent, new parents, or whoever is going to be taking care of them they have to attend a few of these prevention of neglect and abuse meetings. And what that does is help their new caregivers understand what they're going through and how they're going to prevent them from abusing and neglecting again. And even if a child tries to run away or 
just are acting out they just really help give those caregivers more tools so that hopefully that this doesn't happen again they continue to have the children outreach so that they can continue to heal and grow sometimes once the children have gone through this program they feel in their heart that they would like to give back so that they have a program from people or kids that have gone through it once they get over the age of 18 they are able to volunteer and help the new kids you know it's sad that kids are still having to go through this program it is a great healing tool and it helps the adults that have gone through it they still can make a difference in these younger kids lives and i just think that it is an excellent nonprofit organization so i beg everyone that watches this video even if it's just my instructor please go and check out their different informations they also have just community outreach days where they will have an event where anyone in the community can come and they talk about prevention of abuse and neglect in the household and different ways to spot this so if you notice any signs that you can call and have the right steps to take for these children thank you for listening and i hope that you learned a lot about the nonprofit organization the garth house have a great day